Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for coming by my channel today. And if you have not already, like and subscribe. You can hit that notification button so you know when your girl about to upload her next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love to get the positive feedback if you would like to go ahead and tell me um your experience about being a hayoka or you know how you feel about it or you know how is it for you to just about being a hayoka or even about just the content of my video today i would love to hear about it and if you enjoyed what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It'll be greatly appreciated also. And thank you so much for coming by my channel once again. And for my returning sub, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Namaste, love and light, love and blessings. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the love and support as always. And coming to see about my channel today. So I don't know if you're messing with my scarf. Today, I'm listening to Instant Calm, beautiful, relaxing sleep music, dream, nature, energy, healing, quiet, ocean, meditation, music. I will post that link in the description box below if you like to listen to it. It has really calm, like ocean, you know, that ocean noise, and it's just, oh God, it's so relaxing. It'll help you go to sleep too if you have problems going to sleep. But, um, yeah, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Opus, are you ready for the next chapter? Are you ready for the next chapter? A lot of us has been going through awakening for a long time. And it is just like when you can get out of thinking like you have been before and just basically upgrade yourself into that better version where you can be able to look at things and appreciate the things whether it's good or bad because there's always a lesson and a blessing behind everything and it's just like we have to be ready for that next chapter we can't keep rereading the last ones over and over again we got to get ready for this next chapter so will you be ready for when it's time, your time to start that next chapter you know we're learning and growing about ourselves i always say learning and growing because it is we're learning and growing because it's like the more you soak up the more knowledge you soak up in that beautiful brain of yours about the things about yourself about your gift what are you able to do what are the things we're not supposed to do how you're able to maintain the energy around you how are you able to separate your energy from everybody else's how to be able to not think about the negative and be concentrating on living in the now. You know, go on, you know, it's only a day by day process. We can't figure it out all in one day. If it will, our life will be so boring. I, I mean, it's just like, would you really want to know how your journey's going to end or how your next, you know, your next journey is going to take you? You know, you want to be able to enjoy the scenery, enjoy what God gives you on scene on experiencing, on learning, you know, on be able to, you know, okay, I'm going through this, I got through this, I made it, I'm a survivor, I got the sticker, and I got the t-shirt, and I got this and this and that, just to say, you know what, I've been through it, I'm ready for that next chapter, I'm ready, you know, I'm ready for whatever the world got to throw at me. You know, I can deal with this person. I can deal with that person. You know, I can deal with this situation and not have a problem. You know, we always go through situations, but it's just how we able to respond to them. How we able to react to them. You know, what lesson did we get out of this situation? Did, did it teach us anything? Did you feel like it was a blessing? What positive situation? You know, positive you know, gift that you get out of this negative situation. You have to ask yourself many questions like this when you know you're getting ready to go on this chapter. And you'll know when you're ready. You know, you'll know when you're ready because you'll get signs left and right, left and right, left and right. 
you know, I was in the shower today and I didn't even realize I was meditating. And then I recorded, I didn't realize I accidentally recorded one of these certain meditations that, you know, will link me to do what my next chapter has for me. And I was just like, this out of the blue, where did this come from? <laughs> you know, I forgot I even recorded it. And it was just like, you know, everything happens for a reason. Things will present itself to you when the universe thinks that you're ready for that next chapter. And you will see the signs to let you know you're on that next chapter. You will see the, the numbers. You'll see the different things around you. Like when I go out in nature, I was freaked out the other day to see one of my outdoor cats eat a bird in front of me. And I was just like, oh my gosh, because it was a cardinal. And then next thing you know, I'm thinking something bad is about to happen to me or happen to bad around, around me. But actually, that was a blessing. Even though it was a tragedy in itself, just by looking at it, it had a beautiful meaning behind it. I hope nobody don't think I'm morbid for saying that, but when I looked it up, that's what it said. I wasn't saying that on my opinion. I'm just looking it up, <laughs> telling you what it said. So I don't want nobody thinking like, gosh, you said I'm like, no, I don't do that. No, I don't. Because I feel like any animal has a soul. It has feelings. You know, I get upset nowadays, when, especially I've always got upset. I can't let me retort that. I get more upset nowadays seeing things like that, you know, seeing animals get hurt, seeing, you know, because it always affected me, but it seems like it affects me more since my awakening. I don't know about y'all, you know, let me know if that has happened to you. It's just like, you know, we have always, you know, been one with nature. Like, I always felt like everything is connected in a certain kind of way, but it's like when I got to my awakening and my kundalini and doing research, I didn't realize how deep we are connected to everything. <laughs> I did not realize that. So it's just like being an empath. You can watch a video. You can even see it in something, an action within itself and you can get that feeling. And it's just like now, I mean, I'm just so blessed even though it feels like a blessing and a curse sometimes because it's a blessing when you're able to connect with something on that deep level, but it's not a good feeling when you're able to, you know, reciprocate those those feelings along with it. But you have to just think of that like, you know, wow, God's blessed me with a gift like this for me to be able to know, you know, what this animal feels, what this person feels when they're doing these things to this animal. It's just like we have to be able to you know, basically spread love, spread the awareness, you know, tell your story. You never know what your story, and I, I say that a lot in my videos, you never know what your story might help somebody heal with. You never know. That's why I always love doing my videos, because it doesn't seem like a job to me. It just feels like, you know, I'm just talking to somebody, because I love to see a smile on somebody's face. I love to see the comments that I get to let me know that somebody has gotten some kind of understanding and some kind of peace of mind after watching my videos. You don't know how much, you don't know what I read y'all's comments, how much that I, I've probably cried. Like, oh my gosh, they felt this way about my videos and this and this and that. And it's a blessing. But, you know, just ask yourself, are you ready for that next chapter when that universe is able to give you that card to say, you know what, it's on to the next one, and you're going to be ready. And I'm not trying to hold you up today. I hope you had a blessed weekend, and I will see you on my next video. I will keep you on my prayers, and I hope you definitely do the same for me. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback, and I would just love to hear from you anyway. And I will see you later. Much love. Send out as much love, positivity, and much good vibes as you possibly can. You see somebody with low frequency, try to raise it up to me. And I will talk to you later. Peace. <laughs> Be wild.